Welcome class. Today we are going to revise algorithms. Let's do some drawing. I will call out some instructions. Draw them on paper. Draw a standing line in the middle of the paper. Starting from the top of this line, draw a sleeping line from left to right. Starting from the end of the second line, draw a standing line from top to bottom. The height of the line should be the same as the height of the first standing line that you drew. Starting from the bottom of this third line, draw a line from right to left and join it to the bottom of the first line. Have you finished drawing? Show me what did you get? On this slide, we can see a few of the shapes that you may have drawn. If you were not paying attention, you may have got this. In order to do a task, we follow instructions. For example, in the previous slides, we drew a rectangle by following a sequence of steps. Such a sequence of steps is called an algorithm. Repeat after me. Algorithm. An algorithm helps us to achieve a big task by breaking it into a smaller set of tasks. Algorithms are very useful for solving different kinds of problems. Computer programs use algorithms to solve problems. For instance, searching using Google. Google can help you find the number of centuries Virat Kohli has scored or the lyrics of your favorite song or the spelling of a difficult word that you do not know. Even when you send a message to someone, an algorithm is used. Finding a word in a document also uses algorithms. Imagine your mother has asked you to go to the market and bring back some mangoes. But you are very tired. Here, meet Armbot, the mango picking robot. He will go to the market and find you a good mango to eat. Armbot goes to a mango supermarket. Each shelf has many mangoes arranged one after the other. To help him choose a good mango, we will design an algorithm. At the supermarket, we can see two shelves of mangoes. What do you think are the steps to find a good mango? Let's find out how we can pick a good mango. Let's start with the first mango on the first shelf. Is it good or bad? If it is good, come back with the mango. If it is not good, Go to the next mango. Let's check for the second mango. Is it good or bad? If it is good, come back with the mango. If it is not good, go to the next mango. Let's check for the third mango. Is it good or bad? If it is good, come back with the mango. If it is not good, go to the next mango. Can you see a pattern? 
this part is always common is it good or bad if it is good come back with that mango if it is not good go to the next mango we can tell ambot repeat these steps for every mango until you find a good mango is it good or bad if it is good come back with that mango if it is not good go to the next mango this is a simpler algorithm did you see we were repeating the same set of instructions again and again we just saw an example of a loop a loop is a sequence of steps which are repeated let's clap our hands clap again clap again clap again this is getting boring it's easier to say clap four times this is an example of a loop as we have seen armbot was repeating a sequence of steps now we will see Ambert's loop algorithm. Go to the mango supermarket. Start from the first shelf and the first mango. Repeat the following steps until you find a good mango. Is the mango good or bad? If it is good, come back with that mango. If it is not good, go to the next mango. If you found a good mango, give it to me. Let's come up with a new algorithm. You are given a grid of letters. We want to find the number of times the letter E is repeated. How will we do this? Start with the first letter. Repeat for all letters in the grid. Check if the letter is E. Stop. Do you think this is enough? I don't think so. How will we remember the number of times we found the letter E. Start with the first letter. Repeat for all letters in the grid. Check if the letter is E. If the letter is not E, move to the next letter. If the letter is E, add 1 to the counter. Show the counter. Stop. Let's run it. Beep de boop boop beep. Let's start with the first letter. The letter is E. So, we can add 1 to the counter. Now, we check the next letter. This letter is not E. So, we move to the next letter. Again, this is also not E. So we move to the next letter. Is this E? No. So we move to the next letter. This is also not E. 
so we move to the next letter now this is e so we add 1 to the counter now we check the next letter this is r so we move to the next letter this is a so again we move to the last letter which is also not e now we show the counter which shows that we found two e's in total and now we can stop we are now done with the algorithm now we will discuss algorithms and loops an algorithm is a sequence of steps an algorithm helps to achieve a big task by breaking it into a smaller set of tasks algorithms are very useful for solving different kinds of problems loops are sequence of steps which are repeated they are very useful in algorithms algorithms with loops are useful for finding patterns and searching another example of an algorithm with a loop would be teaching armbot how to walk the steps are first put your right foot forward second put your left foot forward armbot will repeat these steps when he is walking